The supply chain of a typical manufacturing company creates more than 80% of the total greenhouse gas emissions resulting from production. Although manufacturers are well aware of this, managing carbon emissions of upstream suppliers is difficult due to limited information on the complex underlying material flows. As you can only manage what you can measure, tackling the emissions challenge adequately will require calculating and minimizing the carbon footprint of products throughout the supply chains of manufacturers. With its commitment to producing cars with a low carbon footprint, Porsche and the whole Volkswagen Group set out to do just that by leveraging breakthrough technologies and strong partnerships along its value chain. Decarbonization is one of our main sustainability goals at Porsche and the whole VW group. In order to systematically reduce our CO2 emissions, we are focusing on the whole value chain. This is Igarim from Porsche, together with her colleague Michael, Ian from Mothers and Innovations team, and Andreas, polymer chemist at BASF. They realized a joint project in order to get closer to everyone's goal the reduction of CO2 emissions. Our goal is a transparent transmission of real CO2 data along um, the supplier chain. Facing the challenge that our cars are assembled from thousands of components, each having a different manufacturing history, process, location, raw materials, we are looking for tools which enable us to exchange data in a more standardized and efficient way. In order to create the whole picture, the involvement of every player in a car's value chain is inevitable, this means complexity and a large amount of data which has to be processed. To fulfill our customers' needs for transparency, we need a scalable solution on how to transfer a big amount of information along the value chain. Not only does the material supplier have to be included, but also the Tier 1, who manufactures the raw material into an actual car part. Motherson's role in this is that of the converter. We take the base polymer from BASF, we then use injection molding processes, um, finishing processes, painting, uh, sub-assembly um, and then final um, overall unit assembly before we uh, convey that part to the Porsche facility where they assemble it into the final car. To calculate the carbon footprint of a single car part, multiple variables have to be taken into account. The product carbon footprint is actually influenced by the design, by the choice of material, by the processing and by the logistics. So you have to look at the entire length of the supply chain. From the raw material to the finished product, the value chain of car parts is complex, involves many parties, and can often lack transparency. All data is requested by email, everybody is using customized Excel files to do the calculation, and then transmits the results to the next partner in the value chain by email. Unstructured processes and solutions that are not scalable are the biggest hurdle in calculating product carbon footprint today. And this is where Circular Tree comes in. My name is Gunter Walden. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Circular Tree. At Circular Tree, we want to make it simpler and safer for organizations to tackle their responsibilities along the supply chain. In order to see the real carbon footprint of parts and materials, a scalable and secure solution is needed. Optimally, it should include all participants along the value chain and should be able to connect to enterprise resource planning, or ERP, systems. Circular Tree's solution, Carbon Block. It enables companies to measure and manage the upstream carbon footprints of parts using smart contracts. We use blockchain technology to ensure that legitimate information can be shared while critical information and intellectual property can be maintained confidential. And the process for their customers is pretty straightforward. Let's suppose you want to track and share the exact carbon footprint of a Porsche 911 bumper. The first step is to retrieve all relevant information about the bumper from the respective suppliers. Suppliers transmit this information by using a template that Circular Tree provides. But as not all of this information is intended to be shared, non-confidential product carbon footprint information is automatically generated and exported by the Carbon Block technology. The shareable PDF export of the data can then be added and recorded securely in the blockchain. In case of an audit, an automatically generated hash enables it to search and identify the original source document that was used for creating the carbon footprint information. The product carbon footprint of the Porsche 911 bumper can now be downloaded and shared. Circular Tree's technology has actually already been used. Carbon Block calculated the product carbon footprint for a car module from an existing Porsche produced by Motherson. 
The solution really comes into two parts. The first is to have a, a consistent um, methodology about how you approach calculating your carbon footprint. What's included, what isn't, how you go about assessing the, the impact. Once you've done that, you then need to actually also have a common approach to how you communicate that information up and down the supply chain, which gives each party involved in that the trust and confidence that it's correct. So uh, in three months, a proof of concepts of, for a blockchain-based solution was built by Circular Tree, representing the value chain for an automotive part. Circular Tree's technology then calculated the product carbon footprint as part of the proof of concept. Based on these calculations, we are able to identify the CO2 hotspots in the supply chain and validate our mostly generic data together with our suppliers. A CO2 reduction on our vehicle components can only work with our suppliers. The challenge, finding the right balance between transparency and maintaining competitive advantages while protecting intellectual property. Circular Trees technology offers every player in the value chain the opportunity to make use of one common tool which can be integrated in the existing IT landscape and be scaled easily. So we have now a better understanding what the end customer is needing and we are also able to connect digitally with the end customers of parts made of our materials. Although blockchain and smart contracts are only one possible solution to automatically exchange data and calculate product carbon footprints, the reasons to consider it as a potential solution can be summarized simply. Blockchain increases trust in the system since data is immutable and every company maintains ownership about their critical information. The project shows that CO2 reduction is possible if everybody is pulling in the same direction. Collaboration is key. Martina, responsible for sustainability strategy at iPoint Group, sums it up perfectly. Listen to each other to learn what are the important issues of every partner and then find a consensus. Get to a standardized approach on how to share data and then just do it. The more partners are involved, the more data can be taken into account and a more detailed calculation can be realized. Andreas has a clear vision. We would like to share and discuss the digital CO2 tracking solution with the automotive ecosystem and we are looking forward to validate the tool with more material suppliers, tiers and OEMs. What's really important at the end of the day is to get a true picture of the environmental impact of what you're doing. And that can build trust all the way through a supply chain and ultimately to the end user that the figures that they're looking at are a true reflection of reality.